let you rate my friend Taylor one out of ten. Can we do a spin? Just spin. A six and a half. Oh. Rejected. <laughs> I do everything alone. I just, I miss having somebody to talk to. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What's your biggest flex? I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but like, like, I'm really pretty. Huh? A lot of people just, like, want to talk to me. Hey. Um. Rejected. New Year's coming up. What's the craziest thing y'all did in 2022? 2022, I think the craziest thing I did was a six sum. Six sum? So how many guys, how many girls? Uh, four, four guys. guys and, and me and her. She belongs to the streets. Wow, y'all are some exotic shit out here. Okay, with that being said, what's something you want to get off y'all bucket list in 2023? A seven sum. Women's lives are bottom-ended and men's lives are top-ended. So like... So what do you mean by that? But what I mean is that... A woman is kind of born with an intrinsic value because she is a woman. Mm -hmm. Life right. starting out for females is much easier than it is for boys, um, right. in my opinion. Um, I think this is because if you like go like way back to when we were like hunter gatherer um, mm -hmm. types of people, you know the the women were sort of looked after and so and it's like that today. The women are sort of like coddled. I want to say like we're, mm -hmm. we're protected, whereas the men, it's like right. You are a man now, so, you know, get up, pull your socks up and get on with it. And that's just how it is. And then a man's value comes later when he's done enough to prove himself to be a man. Yes. A woman doesn't have to do anything to prove to be a woman except hit her period. Majority of the time. <laughs> Obviously, there's exceptions. Yeah, of um, but yeah, I think that, um, yeah, women just, we have it easier to start out to a certain degree. We can manipulate things often to our advantage um, the majority of the time. Like, yeah. well, he has a nine to five, but he, he barely making, he make a thousand dollars a week. That's nothing. I can tell by her wig, she doesn't make a thousand dollars a week. What's the most you ever pay for Coochie for? Like 12 racks. Come on now, dog. There she is. You guys have no idea how lucky I am that, uh, I get to, I'm married to her. Oh, what hey. the fuck are you looking at? I, I was watching you, you were coming up. Dude, I you just, have a problem? You're like a fucking creep. No, I, it's because I, I love you. Shut and... the fuck up, just drive. Okay. Give me a confession. I've made out with a 65 year old. I stole a teddy bear from a grocery store. Ladies, do you ever um, like take a Snapchat and then send it to a guy you're not really interested in to see his response before you send it to the guy that you're actually interested in, or am I crazy? Either have a broke faithful guy or a rich cheater. Rich cheater, easily, yeah. You'd rather be cheated on and he just gives you money? Honestly, yes. All I need in life is clothes. Sure, King. Domination! What's the biggest ick when it comes to a guy? I mean, if you like me too goddamn much. Sims, don't be a fucking simp. It is literally so embarrassing being a baby mother. Like, cause why did I do that to myself? I got to choose who I was having a child with in this world. And I chose embarrassment. Oh my God. But wait, there's more. Literally at this point, walking around with a pregnant belly with no rock on my finger is just giving ghetto. And I just don't belong, okay? Take me out, take me away. Um, it's giving, I was good enough for a fucking baby, but I wasn't good enough for a fat ass rock on my finger. And I just don't love it here. So. Girlfriend? Huh? Super girlfriend? Oh, I don't, but. You don't? Yeah, but what? I can make friends though. You can make friends? Okay, well, how about we get really friendly? What are the odds that you kiss me? Huh? Probably not likely. I'm not, not, I'm not really like that. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. If black men with the passport bro mindset would just come to us black women with open arms to provide and protect and lead, we would be submissive too. Stop the cap. <laughs> Sir, you're really canceling my order for Domino's because I'm 76 cents short and I have a baby who has COVID and this is all I have is $20 and my, my meal was 20 76 and you really canceled my order for 76 cents? Buy Domino's, you're going viral. I fucked his friend. We lived on the sixth floor, so I fucked his friend on the roof above his room. Bro, man? While he was in the room. <laughs> Not bro. Why? While he was in the room? He didn't see me. I was on the roof above him. Oh. But oh, okay. He was there. He was in the, he was in the house. I left the house. I was staying there. I left the house. Went. 
went to the roof with his friends and what I did, and they came back inside the house and were hanging out with so me. So hot. Why are you looking at him like that? He's like tall now and like his voice is deep and stuff. You've never met me. <laughs> Can you imagine? What do you bring to the table? And the guy's like, this. Women would be like, um, so who pays the bills? And um, what does your car look like? And what kind of job do you have? And are you gonna take care of the family? And do you know how to like fight? Like if I was in trouble, like you're gonna protect me? And they'd have a whole list that you'd be checking off. He'd be like, well, I, you know, you can barely keep up. And they're just like this. No, this does not make a high value woman. It doesn't. There has to be more to you than that. And, and it's not this and I'm the CEO of my own company because they don't care about that. We already told you that. So you can care about it. You can be proud of that CEO title all you want. But I'm telling you straight up, a guy would rather have a kind, loving, supportive, respectful woman that works at Arby's than have a CEO that's a nightmare to live with, that isn't supportive, that isn't respectful, and that doesn't care about him really. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring. You were nice until he married you and then you showed your true colors. <laughs> Why I think women are worse nowadays is we're bailed out. We are paid to leave marriages and we're paid to be single mothers. If you pay someone to do something, they're going to do more of it. Why don't you wanna connect with, you know, the same age bracket? Like well, some well, women and, want and to- And so this is an know. interesting thing, right? So dating, one of the things that I've struggled with, because I would rather date someone over 30. Right, I'm 39, rather than be over 30. Would rather be a bit younger than me, but rather close, because I want to be same maturity level, same life experience. But I've had this experience of just coming across, uh, it's, it, the, the, the dynamic is often different. It's like you get these exceptions, right? But on the whole, it's a really different dynamic. Like when I talk to guys and they're like, oh, I don't want to date women in the 30s, I actually get it. It's not that there's anything wrong with all women in the 30s. But it's really, really common to have these really like baggage-based experiences that they bring to. The, I don't mean like, like I don't mean like physical baggage, right? I mean like emotional baggage that they bring to the table, and it's like, ooh, and then it's like I'm suffering as a result because I'm going on these dates and I'm like, they've got like a checklist of things they need to check off on their list. Has he got this? Has he got? Oh, he better not have this characteristic. But it's like it's really not fun. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be, and so I, I, I get it. Like I'd rather date someone close, but I'm not having fun on these dates. You know what's funny about women? They can have all these expectations and standards for men. He has to be over six feet tall. He has to make six figures. He has to be ambitious. He has to be great in bed. He has to be funny. He has to love dogs. He has to be able to protect me, provide for me, pay the bills, take me on trips, uh, do all these different things. But as a man, if you say, you know, I just want a woman who's in shape. Or I want a woman who can cook and clean. I want a woman who's under 30. I don't want to date a woman or be in a relationship with a woman who has a high body count. All of a sudden, oh, oh, you're misogynistic or, or something's wrong with you because a man has a preference. Think about that, guys. Now, the reason why, in particular this clip, these women are kind of confused and wondering why you don't want to date a woman who's basically over 30 is because that excludes those women. And you can tell they're probably 35, 40, 45 maybe, they're past their prime, so those women feel left out. So this is why so many women don't like younger females, because they know that, man, that's my competition. I'm gonna have to compete against those women for resources, time, and attention. The average American male has sex two to three times a week. On the other hand, the average Japanese male has sex two to three times a year which is quite alarming considering I had no idea I was Japanese. <laughs>